Hey crafty friends, once again I am bringing you some fabulous polka doodles um, cards that I created using the Serenity Bundle. These are beautiful fairies. Let me tell you how many there are. There's a bunch. Um, so super having fun with these. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten fairies. And you get them colored already. These are already colored. And then you get the same ten fairies um, in just the black and white lined images so that you can color them if you want. The one thing I said in my last video, and I believe this to be true, is these images, the colored ones, will help you learn to color. Use them as a guideline when you're practicing and learning to color. I love that. Um, they also come with, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, so 22, 20, 24 background papers and a whole bunch of sentiments. <laughs> 24 um, fairy themed kind of sentiments. So. Once you purchase them, they're yours to use as many times as you want, and they're already paid for. So, I love these. I just love them. All right, let's start with this one. Um, in addition, I will link Polka Doodles and their, all their information in the description box down below. So if you want to check them out, you want to go make a purchase, um, it'll be they'll be easy to find in the, just check out the description box. So this die in the background is a magnolia die I got um, in one of the, you know, when they used to do those, I don't know if they're still doing them, those kits that would come out with a whole bunch of dies. Um, and I kept this one because it I thought it was really nice. So I simply made an easel card like that. And then I used that as my topper. So these are all shaker cards. So I used lots of sequins in there. Let me shake it up so I can hear it. And I mean, you know, fairies need sequins, right? So this one I just altered up by putting little pearls on her, uh, the flower centers of her dress. I added layered flowers in her hair where there were already flowers on the image. The sentiment I chose says, even miracles take a little time. The fairy godmother. I added a few little Martha Stewart punched butterflies. I layered this one here. Magnolia dye. And just a little flower cluster. Really, really simple. Um, I have this trim around my circle and then as my card stopper. And just a few little stamps for my stash. So card number one. I really like this one. I really like her. She just looks so serene. <laughs> I like her. And I just stickled up uh, the image. Kind of hard to tell on video. And then I just layered uh, dimensional flowers where she had flowers on the image. So magic is something you make. And then just a couple of little flowers. My sequins. I mean, you know. Really, when you have sequins, you don't need a whole lot else. And then we've got the lace around the edge. And she pops up on pearl trim. And then I just did some stamping around the sentiment area. Sometimes I like that, stamping on the sentiment area. And sometimes I think it just needs to be left plain. Um, this is the same image as the first card. And on her... I used bling and I wanted it to look kind of like she had like a mm, tiara of sorts. I put little bling in the centers of the flowers of her dress. I used this pretty colorful trim around the circle. The fairies made me do it. Isn't that adorable? There's our sequins. I used that same magnolia dye there and then my flower cluster. And she pops up on more of that pretty colorful trim and there is the sentiment area 
All right, the last one, my favorite fairy. She's my favorite. Um, again, already colored. So these cards came together pretty quickly. I printed them, I fussy cut them, and they're super easy to fussy cut, guys. I mean, super easy. So lots of dimensional flowers on her. I added some little pearls on the ends of her hair, pearls here on her dress, and some more flowers. Pearl. She got a little anklet there. Um, I used that same pretty colorful trim and then sprinkle some hugs, sprinkling some hugs your way. And she pops up on more of that trim and then I did stamping also on that. So there you go. Um, guys, I can't recommend this enough to you. I know so many of you have expressed to me the issues that you feel about coloring and how you feel intimidated and um, I just think this is the perfect answer for you you can buy these the set is you know there's a colored set and there's a, a plain set so you can practice 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 um, and then if you don't even want to practice and you just only want to use the colored images forever fantastic you have them all right guys check out all the information in the description box down below when you purchase digital you get the downloads right away um so once you make the purchase boom they're yours you can start using them in five minutes okay all right happy scrappy day if you have any other questions put them in the description box i'm happy to help talk to you guys soon bye